Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Ed Lewis with Thoroughbred Railroad Models. Today I'm going to share a couple tips on hand painting graffiti. The first step in doing graffiti on a model is first selecting the model that you're going to do. Today's example will be an Atlas Extended Vision caboose that I have stripped the lettering off using Solvacet and a pencil eraser and then used a whitewash mix to prepare the surface to be drawn on for the first stencil of the graffiti. The next step is to select the graffiti from your favorite model or from a photograph, try and draw your best version of it, and then the next step after that will be sectioning it off to match it into the model. In this step of doing the graffiti, what you're going to want to do is take a straight edge and section off the model according to how many ribs that you're going to be covering over the box car, or in this case, caboose. This one we're going to use to cover one, two, three, four, five sections. So you want to space it out evenly, center line your graffiti with the straight edge, and draw a line across it like that. Then break it up into five parts. Those five sections represent the ribs or welds on this caboose. The next part of doing graffiti is to take your model, go ahead and count the ribs, then match them to the part that you're going to graffiti, and you want to take your straight edge and draw a straight edge across the section that you plan on graffitiing. If this one's going to cover one, two, three, four, then on the model, you want to go ahead and cover on a straight line, one, two, three, four. Now you have a center line to work with. Now the height doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and change that height, but if you want it to match the drawing, it helps you break it up. Then you also have your vertical lines, which you don't have to draw because they're already on the model. The next step is going to be replicating what you have on your paper using the lines drawn and your vertical weld lines on the model. So you can see here, it kind of breaks it up into quadrants. So if I were to go with my first box, the high side to the weld line kind of goes like this. Then it gets fatter towards the bottom, down, coming up it goes up to about halfway, and then back down. Then the next part, this stops just shy of the next weld line. The next part here goes into it. You don't have to be exact with these, these are rough guidelines. But the reason why, and, and we're really doing a simple graffiti job on this one using just a bubble lettering graffiti technique, which I like because it's a little bit easier to do, but it's also um, a lot easier to read for people who aren't, you know, used to reading graffiti. So there you have a basic line of where we're going to be going. The next step now would be to go ahead and start painting whatever color scheme you're going to go with. Now that the model's been painted and the basic graffiti has been done, the next step is outlining. For that, I'll use a mix between a Micron 003 archival ink pen, which doesn't bleed under lacquer thinner, and regular polyscale or flocal well actually flocal, you want to use a, a, uh, a chemical based paint because the lacquer clear coat that Lenny and I use sometimes has a tendency to eat water based paints. Now that all the graffiti has been outlined and the final touches are on it, you just let it dry and after this you go ahead and clear coat. After you clear coat you can go ahead and decal whatever decals would be left to do. This one doesn't have very many. But uh, I hope this was informative for you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.